What fascinates me about fish is not only are there really active and athletic fish that swim very fast in the water, but they're also very sluggish fish. There are fish that are living in warm water, in cold water, and I want to understand how they do this. I was born in Illinois, so right in the middle of the United States. Learned how to swim just after I learned how to walk and couldn't get enough of being in the water. I've spent my career trying to understand oxygen transport mechanisms in fish. They've been able to deliver oxygen to their tissues and get oxygen from their environment in order to do so in some of the most unforgiving habitats over our evolutionary history. In fact, fish are so good at this, they're 25 to 50 times better at delivering oxygen to their tissues than we are. Well, one of the really interesting species that we have been looking at here is the epaulette shark. And the epaulette shark is known as one of the most tolerant species of sharks on the planet today. And they work well in captivity. While they can live in tanks, we can control the conditions of their tanks. We can elevate temperature, we can elevate carbon dioxide, we can even decrease oxygen and simulate the conditions that they're experiencing in their natural habitat. Then the blood can tell us a lot of information as to how their body is coping with these conditions. So how are the data looking? They're looking good overall. We know that the oceans are changing. They're changing at a rate that's faster than what we've ever known in human history. And what we need to understand is the species that are able to cope with these conditions, but then also on the other hand, the species that are going to be quite vulnerable by the end of the century with these changing conditions. This isn't only bad news for the fish, but that's also bad news for the communities that depend on fish. And if they start losing those populations of fish, that's a global problem. You're getting your tank set up. The L'Oreal Fellowship is allowing me to expand my research to include some species that I think might be in more danger with climate change over the next century. And a really great place to investigate these species is an island in French Polynesia called Morea. This is a really special area because French Polynesia is the largest shark sanctuary in the world, and so it provides a really unique habitat to investigate these sharks. The fish have been on the planet for hundreds of millions of years, and I think it's up to us to determine if they can be on the planet for another hundred million years. We can start on a global scale to better protect the planet and therefore better protect the oceans so these fish have a chance in the future.